Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Let's go ahead and evaluate this logarithmic equation. And we're going to solve for x. So let's take a look at this one. Let's just change it first into exponential form. So that would give us 2 equals x to the power of 1, negative 1 third. And since I have a fraction as an exponent, we have a rational exponent, I'm going to change this into a root. So notice how that fraction is split up there, right? Now, if I wanted x, the cube root of x, without that negative 1 as an exponent to equal 2, I know I'd have to have 8, right? Because then I'd have the cube root of 8, which equals 2. But this is 8 to the power of negative 1, right? Because that's where this negative 1 came from. So in order to make this... 2, I would have to make 8 have another negative exponent. Now, if I change that, I'd have the cube root of 1 eighth and that to the power of negative 1. So, this tells me then that x is going to need to equal 1 eighth. See, because what that does, and, and let's, let's look at this, we'd have the cube root of, I'm saying 1 eighth, right? And this is to the power of negative 1. The negative 1 reciprocates that fraction. So then we'll have the cube root of 8 over 1. But of course we don't really need that denominator because it's over 1. And the cube root of 8, as it turns out, is 2. So that tells us then that x is 1 eighth. Now, there was some intuition in this, right? It's, this may not be as obvious to some people as others, but uh, that, that works right there. That's pretty good.